The goal of this video is to show you how to use the NIST webbook to find common literature values for chemical species. Uh, it is an incredibly useful and reliable source of literature values, but it can be a little bit difficult to navigate. So the goal is to show you how to find some common values that you may be looking for. So if we open up the web page, the first thing we see on the left side is a search bar. Usually it's easy it's just to search by formula. And then we can enter whatever chemical species we're interested in in the bar below. I'm just going to say chlorine gas for right now. And if we scroll down, the data that we are looking for in this lab and you know general values that may be of interest are usually in these two bullet points right here. Gas phase, thermochemistry data, and constants of diatolic molecules. Starting with the thermochemistry data, the first value that we see nice and clear is a literature value the molar value of entropy right there. Um, we can also find heat capacity on this page, but it's a bit more tricky. Um, there's a table of all these constants, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and they're listed at different temperature ranges. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take those constants and put them inside our Excel spreadsheet. And when we do that, our Excel spreadsheet automatically solves for the Shomite equation right here which will give us a literature value of heat capacity depending on what temperature of the system is selected. All right, so the other values that we're going to need are going to be in that other bullet point. So if we scroll up, we can see constants of diatomic molecules. And we scroll down a bit, and we see this huge mess. But luckily, we're just going to scroll right past it. And what we're interested in is at the very bottom, um, starting with this term symbol. Uh, the X right here means that this is the ground state. This is the state we're interested in. Pay attention to the number in the superscript. This corresponds to the electronic ground state configuration. Uh, the one right there means that for chlorine 2, the ground state is a singlet. A couple other pieces of information we can find here. We've got omega subscript E, and this corresponds to the vibrational wave number at the ground state, uh, which for chlorine gas is 559.7. Uh, that is 1 over centimeters. And over here, we have R subscript E. This is the ground state bond length in angstroms. For chlorine 2, that is 1.987. Um, all of these values combined should get you most of the way to calculating the values that you need on your Excel spreadsheet.